And if I scroll down, we will see that the next section is clean data. This still registers as part of read data because I have not yet defined a new pipeline step. But at this point in the pipeline, I defined my first initial step, which is reading data. Now my next step is clean data. So I go here and my step name is called clean data. Oopsie, I got clumsy fingers today. And this one does actually depend on read data. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that here. And now I'm creating dependencies in my pipeline. Now we know that DF auto.types is not required. So I'm gonna go ahead and skip this. And this is not the most robust data science notebook, but it's enough for us to talk about the functionality. And scrolling through here, we'll see that these are in fact part of cleaning the data. They are manipulating the data. And if you'll notice, they still have the purple line here. As we see up here, clean data is a purple color. So I am going to skip this cell and I'm going to keep this one and keep this one and keep this one. And the check for duplicates, uh, I'm going to skip because that's purely just a visual check along with the head. That is also a visual check. So we're going to go and skip those here. And now we go on to the next step here. And this is all part of cleaning data. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that associated to clean data. Next step in my notebook, a bunch of visualize. Really helpful for validating that what you're building is going to be of the right utility for you. Not helpful for the sake of the pipeline. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to skip a lot of these cells. Like I said in the beginning, the skipping is just as important as the labeling because if you don't skip the right cells, um, you're going to create extra work for your pipeline, and that's not going to help you uh, or make your life any easier. It's also going to uh, ultimately increase the size of the snapshots. It can have a cascading effect. So making sure you skip the cells, and especially in this case, things that are visualizing, um, which are not required for automatic pipeline, we're going to go ahead and skip those two. And uh, we just go ahead and keep skipping until we get to modeling. Notice that modeling is still tagged with a purple. This is all the way from up here where we set up the clean data. So now that I'm all the way down here under modeling, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call this one prep data. And prep data depends on clean data. Now you can have multiple dependencies you would just select multiple options here. I'm only gonna select clean data, but I could select clean data and read data, and then it would be dependent on both. That's not the right setup for this pipeline, but it is possible. If you have multiple steps you need to be dependent on. And then we go through here, and we'll go ahead and skip this last cell here. 